So this is a fun one, and the answer really comes down to reaction time speeds for different types of tasks, going from the slowest, which is cognitive reaction, something happens, I think about it, and then I select an action, to uh, cortical reflexes, where the brain gets the signal, but it's processed by uh, lower motor control areas that just handle the reflex, uh, where it can be a very complicated action, sometimes like swinging a tennis racket with all these different joints and muscles acting in unison, down to like a spinal reflex, where we see things like part of the walking pattern often gets encoded at the spinal level, doesn't even require the brain to act. And when you're playing something like a fighting game, if you've practiced it, those become subconscious reflexes. And they work just like a tennis swing where you can mess up a tennis player if you ever want to go have some uh, evil fun by telling them to think about their swing before they hit the ball and they will miss like every time because the ball is just coming too fast. In order for them to accurately hit a fast moving ball, they actually need to allow the reflex to take over and not overthink it. Uh, and so, yeah, if you overplan your game and you break out of your learned reflexive patterns that you have, you're going to be super slow.